What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jay Breezy. Shoot my shot because he's not. Look, Kyrie stays in Dallas. How do I feel about this? Y'all know I'm a Kyrie fan. We were rooting for Dallas after the trade. We weren't too big fans of Luke and the Mavericks before the trade. But how do I feel about him staying in Dallas? I would have rather he went to the Lakers. But Rob Palenka wanted to spend the money like an idiot. He wanted to go get Cam Reddish and Gabe Vincent. You're not going to get Kyrie. Or I want y'all to know something. He really picked Gabe Vincent, Cam Reddish, and Torian Prince over Kyrie Irving. You're an idiot, bro. You're like, come on. I don't even want to be mean. Let me not call him an idiot because I want to have respect for everybody. But like, bro, you just don't know basketball. <laughs> Like, bro, you just need help mentally or something. I don't know what's wrong with you, but there is something wrong with you, bro. Like, or you just don't like LeBron, or you just want to sat, or you just want to sabotage the team. That's probably it. Now that I think about it, but I would have rather he would be able to go to like Philly for James Harden or something like that, just somewhere else. I don't like the Mavericks that much. Uh, it's really, I think it can work though. I'm still optimistic. I think it can work. Obviously, if it works with Dallas too, it's going to be a real plus on Kyrie's resume. And I don't think anybody expects Kyrie to win a ring. But if Dallas can make it to the conference finals, I think this whole, he can't do anything without LeBron narrative. The only people who don't know basketball say that, right? It's not even the people who don't know basketball. It's actually it's actually the try-hard basketball guys, the dudes who overthink it. Like, bro, if you think Kyrie is trash without LeBron, I think you're just thinking too much. I think you're just watching a little too much basketball. Go outside. You know what I mean? Go outside. Yeah, Kyrie hasn't won a finals without LeBron. LeBron hasn't won a finals without Kyrie, Anthony Davis, or Dwayne Wade. Like, <laughs> what are we talking about? <clears throat> what are we talking about? All of those guys won an all-star game MVP. So LeBron hasn't won a championship without an all-star game MVP. Who, without somebody who's won MVP in a game where all the best players in the world played, okay? You know what I mean? The Celtics was more than just Kyrie. The Nets were doing well, but for some reason they didn't want to pay him like they promised him before the season started. Kyrie... At least he got paid. He got paid $125 million for three years. It's unfortunate that somehow Fred Van Bleet made more money than Kyrie Irving. I absolutely don't understand that. I absolutely don't understand Fred Van Bleet getting $130 million and Kyrie's getting $125 million. But whatever, bro. Whatever, bro. Kyrie already made way more money in his career. He'll probably get another big contract. Fred Van Bleet will never touch $130 million again. He better invest that money. He better save that money. Put it in stocks, crypto, whatever you got to do, bro. Buy some real estate. Just put it in the bank. I wouldn't even, if I was Fred Van Vliet, I'd do like Sean Taylor did, bro. I'd sleep with my money, bro. Because I wouldn't even trust. I wouldn't even trust that Houston Rockets would try to break into the bank. Break into like my, hack my account and get their money back, bro. Because the way Fred Van Vliet just robbed them boys, especially, I don't know if they think he's about to take off like Jalen Brunson did. But it's not going to happen. I'm telling you, in a year or two, they're going to want a refund. But I don't even know what I'm talking about him. Let's talk about Kyrie. Um, It can work. You surround Kyrie around defenders. Get Kyrie and Luka defenders and rebounders because those are the two things they lack in. I get it. Luka gets triple doubles, but he's not really a rebounder, bro. He's, not re he's definitely not a defender. Kyrie plays better defense than Luka. I don't care what anybody says. Um, definitely get defenders, though. Go after somebody like Jared Vanderbilt, Dallas. Jared Vanderbilt, I think, is expendable for the Lakers. I don't think they brought him back. If they did, then my bad. But I don't think they brought him back yet. Go after players like, you know what I'm saying, just straight defensive guys. And Kyrie and Luka can do all the scoring. Um, I think Kyrie's perfect. Like, I don't want to sound like a D-rider. I think Kyrie's amazing. There's nothing on the court he can't do. He plays defense. I know y'all want to call him a ball hog and a selfish player, but if you actually watch the games, he's not even a ball hog. He's stupid efficient. Look at the stats. He's not a ball hog. He plays with it within the offense, especially if you watch Dallas play this season. It was Luka selling. 
when Dallas and when Kyrie and Luca were on the court, Luca was the one trying to do too much. He was the one missing game winners. You know Kyrie not missing a game winner. Luca was the one missing wide open layups to win games, bro. It was Luca. I not Kyrie, but Luca. Um, Luca got to stop being Carmelo Anthony, bro. Luca is the 2023 Carmelo Anthony. Carmelo did not win a championship for a reason. Luka Doncic will never win a championship playing like he's playing, bro. Luka wanted to be James Harden and Carmelo Anthony so bad. It's not working, bro. Stop trying to ISO. Nobody like, bro, ISO with pump fake, pump fake, jab step, jab step, ISO, rip through, step through. That doesn't work. It hasn't worked since Kobe. And even Kobe, even Kobe and Jordan, which are the only players who really who really won a championship doing ISOs with pump fake, with stupid amount of pump face and jab steps. Even those two, they were both, Kobe was nine-time all-defensive first team and Michael Jordan was defensive player of the year. Bro, you got to play defense, bro. If you're going to be that, you got to be one of the best defenders in the world. You got to be way more than just a jab step, dude. You have to fight on the boards. You have to be way more intense. Like, come on, man. If you're going to be an ISO guy, and don't tell me Luka's not an ISO guy because he gets a sit. He's an ISO guy, okay? Okay? If you're going to do all those extra jab steps, ball hog, dribble moves, I mean, it hasn't worked in any capacity since Kobe in 2010, right? If you're going to do it, then you got to do it like Kobe in 2010, Jordan in 98, 96, whatever year you want to pick. You got to do it like Kobe and Jordan, bro. You gotta, you gotta have that Westbrook motor, right? You gotta have the high IQ. I think Luca's IQ is there. I know a lot of y'all think I'm a Luca hater. I'm gonna give him a compliment right there. Luca got the IQ. He knows what to do, I think, but he needs to play harder. He needs to play smarter. Well, not smarter. He, like I just said, he got the IQ. He needs to play harder. He needs to work harder. He needs to play defense. There's a lot of things Luca need to do on the court. If he could play defense. It's, I don't know, but right now, Luka's looking like James Harden in 2018. Yeah, he's getting a stupid amount of triple doubles and points, but that's not resulting in wins. That's not doing anything for me. Same thing with Carmelo Anthony in 2013. Stupid amount of points, great highlights, great jab steps. Not going to win the championship, bro. He didn't beat Paul George, who did none of that, really. But he just caught the ball, shot the ball, dunked on everybody, locked everybody up. And, yeah, PG did have the handles. PG had raw handles, but he wasn't doing the pump, pump, jab, jab, like, every minute like Melo was. He's not usage rate through the roof like Melo was. I think Luka Doncic needs to pay, take, if he's not going to step up, he needs to take a lower role, bro. Oh, my gosh, Kyrie's insane. I think they can coexist, but Luca, let Kyrie take over the fourths, bro, because you're not doing it, okay, buddy? Luca is not taking over the fourth quarter like Kyrie takes over the fourth quarter. I mean, look at that highlight right there. Four minutes left in the fourth. Um, Kyrie's just like that, bro. Luca, I think you need to work on your defense, work on what you can do better. Kyrie. Keep being efficient. Maybe you could be a little bit better defender. I think Kyrie's actually a really good defender. Especially when he needs to be, he's an amazing defender. In my opinion, right? It's not too much I can critique on Kyrie. I'm going to be honest with you, bro. I know it might sound like I'm just being a fanboy or whatever. I'm going to be honest with you, bro. Kyrie, like, bro, he's an efficient three-point shooter. That's another thing. Luka, as, much, as many threes as he shoots, he's not that efficient. As many threes as he shoots, but I digest. Um, um, Kyrie to the Mavericks, it can work. It could for sure work. Especially, I think the West is as weak as it's ever been, as open as it's ever been, even with Denver winning and Denver looking like, looking like they could be real players. I mean, Bruce Brown just left. So, I think Denver's throne is not safe. They're an injury away. Jamal Murray, MPJ, or Jokic injury away from completely giving up their throne. I think I think Dallas could be contenders, especially since they're one of the only teams that's going to bring back one of all their main pieces, right? 
knowing that Portland's out the mix. A lot of people are out the mix. Dallas has a chance. We'll see. Only time will tell. But like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you guys thought about this down below. And I'm out. Peace. Stay breezy.